For most teachers, they do what they do because they love the kids. It's a calling. But more and more lately are just calling it quits. There's a lot of reasons for that, but a low salary often tops the list. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs talked to one Metro teacher who says Tennessee is near the bottom of the list when it comes to teacher pay. The highs are that you never have a boring day. There's always something interesting uh, going on and you do touch a lot of lives. I Susan Norwood loves her job. She's an English teacher at McGavick High School. I've always enjoyed working with young people. I was a Girl Scout leader. I was a room mother. Uh, I love my content area, which is English, and that's what made me go into teaching. But it's a struggle. It is a financial struggle. I have not felt comfortable financially really since I began. Our, fro our pay was frozen repeatedly over 15 years. When Governor Bill Lee came into office in 2019, the state minimum pay for teachers was 35,000. The governor wants to raise that to 50,000 by the time he leaves office in 2027. Governor Lee talks about making a teacher salary $50,000. Well, it takes at least $85,000 a year to live comfortably in Nashville. The National Education Association has Tennessee ranked 42 out of 50 states for teacher salary. The latest data shows the state's average is just shy of 53,000. The national average is nearly 65,000. He will say teacher pay raise, but whether it materializes is, is something to be seen. He promised us a pay raise four years ago. That ended up getting totally cut. During Lee's State of the State address, he said $125 million from the state's education fund will pay for the raises. So what would I like to see? I would like to see decent pay raises, uh, even the 4% cost of living adjustment we got this year. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.